Hey, NFI, today's Monday. No, it's not. Today's Thursday, April 14th. <laughs> okay, so sorry guys, I missed the last time I was supposed to make a video, and then I proceeded to miss this Monday. But I have very good reasons. I got super, super, super sick and could barely get out of bed, and that really sucked, so that's why I missed that day. And then this past Monday, I was at something really cool, which I'll talk to you about in just a minute. So, first things first, the last theme that I missed, which was dreams or dreaming or something. When this theme was set, I really couldn't think of anything to talk about because I hadn't been really having any dreams that I remembered lately, and then I got sick and then I had a ton of dreams. It wasn't fun because they were all nightmares. So, um, but I did think of something to talk about, and that is this really freaky, weird dream situation I had when I was in college. And um, it should show how weird it is because I still remember. Um, basically, this was back in the day before Facebook was fancy. And the only picture you could post on Facebook was your profile picture. It didn't have photo albums or anything like that. So I was sleeping in my dorm, as you do. I had this dream where my friend told me that this guy that I used to work with at camp um, tagged me on Facebook. And I had no idea what that meant. And I was trying to figure out what it meant in the dream. I didn't have any clue what it meant at all, in life or in the dream. I was just like, what do you mean tagged me? And um, then I woke up and went about my day, and I went and I checked Facebook, and it said, so-and-so tagged you. And it was the exact same person that supposedly tagged me in my dream. How freaky and weird is that? Okay, and this week's theme that I set was um, to tell everybody what you're really excited about. And I had this thing on Monday that I was really excited about, and I will tell you about that again in a minute. And um, that was the first thing. And then the next thing, I think, is I'm going to England at the end of May and the beginning of June for my friend's wedding. Um, and she actually lives in Wales. So I'm going to be in London for a few days. And then I'm going out to Wales. And I'm bringing Brett with me. So it will mark the very first time that I brought anybody with me on vacation or have brought any of my... American friends to London with me, so I'm very excited to like show them around and stuff. It'll be fun. And I'm also at my friend's wedding, so that should be fun too. And then after that, uh, VidCon, of course, which I'm super amped about. Um, I can't wait to see everybody and who in NFI is planning on going. And if you aren't planning on going, you should go because Jess and I, I know, will be there and we're awesome, so that's reason enough. And after that, I really don't have any specific dates that I'm excited for. My best friend Sarah is getting married next summer, so that'll be fun. And, um, yeah, not much else. I, I have things kind of possibly planned that I'd be excited for, but I don't really have anything in particular. So, yeah. <laughs> so this big fun event that I went to, uh, if you guys have seen my Facebook, you probably already know, but I went to the Doctor Who world premiere that was held in New York City uh, on Monday, and it was crazy. I waited in line for 10 hours, and um, I was dressed up as Amy Pond, and so were a lot of other people there. <laughs> so it was fun. And um, I managed to take this quick little shot of the line at 11 o'clock in the morning for you guys. Silent Sparrow, I wrote you a letter to make you feel bad about the fact that I'm gone. I may be stuck in the past, but my future is vast. Don't go looking for me, girl, you've got to go on. Don't think he's talking to you, he's just on the TV. Well, look past the Easter egg and see the reality. A world of time and space inside a funny blue box. The angels are approaching and the front door is locked. So don't blink. I said don't blink Just look directly at them and they'll stay where they are I think they're crying anyway, they can't be no harm My eyes are watering, I'm right on the brink I'm sure nothing would happen if I were to The doctor 
Cancer isn't here this time, this won't be a breeze He's stuck in 1969 on your DVDs Just listen very carefully to what he's got to say Do not turn your back on him and don't look away Cause if they get inside the TARDIS then the sun will go out Just go down to the cellar and show them what you're about They move faster than you could ever believe Don't let the light go out and don't be naive Just don't blink I said don't blink Just look directly at them and I'll stay where they are I think they're crying anyway, they can't mean no harm My eyes are watering, I'm right on the brink I'm sure nothing would happen if I were to And by the end of the day, it was down that other block Like all the way down the other block They started with two theaters open, and they ended up opening four theaters for everybody to fit in. Unfortunately, I missed the cutoff for the live theater. It would have been really awesome. But I got to watch the question and answer thing on the screens, and it was really cool. So that's how I spent my day, ten hours in line, and then watched the two new episodes of Doctor Who, which are amazing, by the way. I'm so excited for you guys to see them, because they're so awesome. Okay, so I have to edit this thing and get ready for bed because I have to work at 6 a.m. My life is crazy. So I will see you guys soon. I hope everybody's doing well. You guys will see me in two weeks, hopefully, and Erica, I'll see you tomorrow.